Salt would I mean, be a priority. There's a reason why it was currency at one point. And to be more specific, let's say you're starving. And the reason why I was still able to function at a high level, still able to hunt, because we saw people uh, were unable to hunt at a certain point because of muscle cramps and feeling lightheaded, feeling like they might pass out. Even if you're drinking enough water, it's hard for that water to stay inside your blood vessels if you don't have that salt. And specifically, mm. when we think about, hey, I'm an ER doctor treating people with like dehydration and issues uh, with their electrolytes, potassium, sodium, magnesium. Those would be like the three that I say, like, if you don't have that in your salt mix, think again and choose something else because that will enable you to keep the potassium in your bloodstream, which is very important, not only for muscle cramps, but also heart function. So we see people in uh, long-term survival states that have a very low potassium and they're like, oh, electrolyte dehydration, no big whoop. But what people fail to realize is that not only is it muscle function, it's heart function too. And you can mm -hmm. put yourself in a very fatal arrhythmia that can kill you in minutes or seconds. So that's why potassium is so, so important. And uh, the reason why I opted for a lower amount of salt instead of a salt block. Because a salt block, if you look at that, you can bait animals with it. That's just sodium chloride. You know, even Himalayan salt, you have some minerals, and that's not going to give you the same function as potassium and magnesium.